As Taiwan's pet population grows, the pet food market is booming. Head to a pet shop and you can now find all manner of unusual treats and snacks available. But which meats are most popular with Taiwan's pets? And what do vets have to say about it? Let's take a look at the new face of pet food. Thick slice of ox tongue is a staple of barbecue restaurants, and it's fast becoming a favorite for pet owners too. <laughs> barbecue experts are marketing tongue at pets with special products baked on a low heat of just 70 degrees. Strips of dried tongue and tongue rolls are popular snacks. The fattiness of tongue is good for their skin and their fur. The amino acids in it are quite good for them too. <laughs> The number of people raising children and keeping pets is converging in a golden intersection. So we think this pet market is pretty big. We choose our ingredients from meat fit for human consumption, and they're basically 100% meat. The pet food market is estimated to be worth 25 billion NT annually. The Kanpai Group has released a range of tongue products claiming low fat, high collagen credentials. The Doggy Wants firm has produced jerky made of deer meat and cherry duck. Meanwhile, the Pet Wolf Company is selling dried kangaroo meat. These are all kinds of unusual meats available, but owners should keep their pets' health in mind. <laughs> When pets have kidney diseases, then you want to lower their protein intake. If they're allergic to beef, then you should probably avoid anything from cows, including the ox tongue we just mentioned. Vets also warn that dried meat should only be a snack and is not a healthy, complete diet for an animal.